Hello YouTube. Uh, this is a uh, Black Bear Hunter coming at you again, and I'm here to do a beer review for Unibrew's 25th anniversary ale, uh, Ale Gateau Foray Noir. Um, let me say that again. Ale Gateau Foray Noir. Um, it's a Belgian style dark ale. Um, 10.5% uh, ABV, only 20 IBUs. Um, <laughs> I probably more than likely will like that. Um, and so basically it's a black, uh, like a black forest cake inspired ale. Um, yeah, you know, you should get pretty decent, um, roasty aromas, maybe a little bit like malt. It should be kind of malty. Um, they say that it's aged on cherries. So cherries added in there. Um, it's cocoa beans, dark chocolate, so you should kind of smell that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, um, sounds pretty interesting. Um, you know, um, Unibrew, they've been around for a while, making some really good ales. Um, I, I actually like their triple, um, the double that they make. Um, you know, um, Fin de Mon, uh, Fin de Mon, uh, like the End of the World series, um, it's a pretty nice, uh, they make some really, really nice ales. So at the end of the day, um, you get this delivered in two different styles. You have the, uh, 12 ounce bottles, um, in a four pack, or you can get the 750 mil. Uh, yeah. So, you know, it's pretty straightforward, nice foil top, good looking, uh, delivery. Uh, so yeah. Um, I'm curious on how this is going to play out. So, um, let's open it up. Oh, I forgot my handy dandy beer opener. So, with this beer, I know they were uh, given, um, you know, um, some recommendations for tastings as far as uh, food. Um, I already ate dinner. But I do have some cheese, so I brought along some. I got some uh, Wood River. It's a, it's a cheddar. Um, applewood smoked sea salt. Um, I think it's aged. Aged a couple years. So I'll try that out. I have some Gouda, but it was freezing. So um, yeah, we'll try that out. But for right now, we have a cheddar. So, ooh, oh, look at that. Oh, uh, activity going here. Really? Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Look at that. See what it looks like coming out. Nice head. Sure broke out a bigger glass for this. That's okay. T'Challa and Luke don't care. They just want to fight over it. <laughs> I'll fight over it later off camera. So, here we go. Um, yes, there's a lot of activity going on. I didn't expect that much of a head. Um, khaki color looking head. Um, let's see if we get this up towards the light. I mean, it's pretty dark. I mean, but there's like mahogany highlights. Like if the, the light hits it. Uh, you can kind of see it's like a reddish dark brown. Um, let me take a take a get a little whiff of that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you get like that tart fruit. Oh yeah, it's kind of fruity, malty. Oh, it's a good aroma. I love that. It smells great. Like the cherries in it. The, uh, gives it a really good smell. I mean, the aroma is, is really nice. You just want to just jump right into it. Um, and it still looks like there's a lot of uh, carbonation. You can see it. Um, I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but yeah, you're getting some carbonation. Um, awesome presentation. Um, awesome aroma. Uh, so I guess the only thing we got to do is, uh, you know, taste it. So cheers, you two. Ooh. 
Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So what do I say about that? It's effing amazing. It's good. I really like it. Um, wow. Um, it's like you're eating a piece of like a chocolate cherry that you get from the Girl Scouts or one of those um, organizations that's trying to raise money. So you get a lot of chocolate. You get some roast. Like it's a little roasty, but not as roasty as I thought it would be. Um, you know, for a dark ale. Um, that you that fruit, the fruit in it is amazing. Um, there's no, it doesn't taste like like cherry juice. It tastes like they might have used real cherries. Um, it's a really good, really good addition. Um, tart, so you get a little tartness to it, but not overly tart. Um, you get a nice cherry bite. Um, it, and it's not just an aftertaste. It's, it's straightforward. One of the most um, prominent, it's, it's a prominent um, personality into this delivery and into this package. I like it. Um, you, you get a little herb herbs and some spices added in there. Like you do with most other, um, dark ales, um, little bready, uh, maybe like apricot. Uh, I couldn't say it's like, it's a really good, like bready taste to it. Um, it's awesome. It's a good beer. Uh, for a 25th anniversary, it's deserving of that. Um, their last specialty beers last year, they had the, um, it was like some type of gold nail um, that they were only delivering or distributing here in the U.S. Um, and then they had a dark ale that they were distributing in Canada. Uh, you know, um, this year, uh, Foray Noir is uh I is it only gonna be is US specific. So um hey I, I mean if it were me <laughs> I would run out if I didn't get a hold of this four pack um by accident I would run out and get it. Um I end up getting mine at Total Wine. Um and like I said that was a a true flute because you know I was just taking a beer back and I decided to walk the aisle. Um, and ran across this, this beer and actually, you know, it falls right into my format. I love dark, strong beers, quads, um, doubles, like a, a strong, like double. Um, I like, uh, of course, you know, I like stouts, um, porters, brown ales. Um, so yeah, it fell in place and I was like, okay, I'll share it with YouTube. And so here I am. Me, Luke, and T'Challa sitting here sharing a beer with, with YouTube. So I guess if you don't have it, go out and get it. Um, untap 375, Beer Advocate 4.5. I lean more towards the 4.5. I will give it a 4.5. Um, El Gato. Ooh, almost messed up that time. For Ray Noir. Cheers, YouTube.